Hi, I'm Paul Haber, and I'm going to show you how to make the most of your sound when you're shooting on the fly and you're not under the best sound circumstances. The other day I followed my friends Matt and Mara around when they were having a christening for the new baby, and that was really a nightmare in terms of getting good sound. This happens a lot when you're shooting on the fly in a church or a synagogue, a wedding, a bar mitzvah, a family reunion, school graduation, birthday. You're almost guaranteed never to be able to get close enough to your subject so that you could really hear what they're saying clearly. And also, a lot of these events take place in very large halls that are very echoey. I've got a few good tricks for you to use to get around not so good sound and still have everybody think, what a great video. One, add some subtitles. I think she's starting to look a little oh. What did she say? I think she's starting to look a little oh. Subtitles. But you don't have to use subtitles all the way through. You can just throw them in when you can't quite hear what's going on. The next thing you could do is to add your own voiceover commentary. Proud Papa does the heavy lifting after the christening, while Proud Mama carries the lighter but more important package. The last thing you might want to try is to dump your sound entirely and add a musical soundtrack. People won't know that you had bad sound or that you had sound problems. They'll just think you're a genius for having added a really great musical score that will heighten the action and make your home movie really exciting. and people won't know that you had bad sound, they'll just think you're a genius for having made an inc hmm. I've got at least three circumstances <laughs> are going to put you mm. on almost in every mm. What did I just say? Damn it. Because it was perfect.